Mo, good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. Well, it's somewhere in the part of the day. I wanted to go over this picture, as you can see here. Here we go with the yawning. Yeah. But, literally, as you see at this picture, I've been meaning to go over this, and I lost this long ago in the uh, Google Photos. And, as you can see, tap a face to begin. Now, <laughs> what got me interested in this church, uh, in downtown Lemonster, Mass, mind you, was these faces. And I was sitting at, a, at the light, and this face, I don't even know if you want to call him a face, but as you can clearly see when a camera takes itself and you bring a picture up and it's identifying this is a face. Yeah, I can just imagine what they were thinking when they made these windows. Now, this claims to be the first church in Lemonster, Mass. Who knows? But this, to me, when I was looking, there was a building off to the side of this, off to the side of this church and when I looked up in one of the windows I could see a face one of these and it, it just looked demonic and the way it was set in the window it just looked like a damn face as you can see damn it in ways they resem resemble alien faces now this church is also filled with gargoyles that are supposedly to re uh, redeem against evil spirits. But in my eyes, I don't know what the hell gargoyles to get rid of evil spirits. To me, gargoyles look friggin' evil, if you ask me. But this church has them. And with a water runs off the roof they got like pipes coming out of their mouth so the water drains but all in all it looks friggin demonic on this church these faces to me look demonic but also they also resemble a friggin alien head and face cause aliens heads are supposedly big as you can see you look at it even though it's got the uh you know, this design in it. It still looks like a friggin' alien head. I've been, you know, in the mix of trying to see if I can get into this church. Ask some questions. But, uh... God damn it. But, yeah, I just don't know if they will let me. I tried getting into one church in Fitchburg, and some big ordeal happened. And I wrote to him a few times after, but I ain't never got a response. It's already been two years later. <laughs> Mind you. But this church, yeah, I would like to try and see what I can get in. But to have, like I say, this tap of face to begin... <laughs> for your camera to do this and this was an old style phone too mind you probably from 2011, 2012 with Samsung and uh but it literally read this picture as faces and I gotta I don't know if I can find that other picture. Oh, I hate these goddamn friggin' emojis. You piece of friggin' crap. Uh -oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, like I said, I don't know if I can find this other picture that I had of this face. It was one of the originals. Let me look through. You know, 
lots of stuff in there, man. I got like 3,000 freaking photos in here. <laughs> Always doing something. But yeah, to have that, you know, that church, to have all this crazy looking faces, gargoyles at that, mind you. I mean, it's just insane. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't know how anybody gonna say gargoyles get rid of evil when they look evil. The gothic times of that, it's just insane. Where I wanted it. But, like I said, I'm do you know, all these old churches, I don't care what anybody says. You know, hearing the stories of priests, and a lot of them come out with molestation. Or, back in the day, man, you used to get paddled your ass by a priest or a nun. If you are disrespectful, if you just happen to, you know, be out of any kind of sort. You know, back in them days, your ass got your ass handed to you with a paddle and everything else. So yeah, just to even imagine what else could have went down in a church, what the hell, and it's just nuts, cause you know what? Oh, here they are. Yeah, there, 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 there. What did I want to pick up here? This is an original. Oh, I want to find a face in the window. Where did it go? Oh, these are my. Hang on, that was the second set I took. But yeah, just to think of all the stuff that has been in the past, gone, happened in the past. And, uh, there's dark hidden secrets in churches that people just don't realize. Oh, there it is. Right here. Look at this. Right here. This is where I was sitting at the light. I turned my head and just happened to see this. Now that's the thing at the front of the church, it's on the side of the church, but as you can see, plain, clear as day, look at that. Right in the glare of a window, man. <laughs> to me, what is this? It looks like goddamn evil sets in this church. Now whether or not they made this stuff like this to scare away evil as they claim, when all in all, I think they could have been possessing evil throughout the church, period. But all in all, I mean, it's just hidden dark secrets. Hidden dark secrets that lie within churches. Oh, yeah, here's the building right here. This is where I was sitting. There's a church. There, as you can see in the glare, I blew it up brought it forward, but I was like, looking in the, you know, I was just sitting there waiting for the light to turn, it's like, bang, what the hell is that, I said, so whipping out the camera, snapped the shot, right, you see the background, the glare of the church and the windows, and bang, you just see this face stick out at you, it's like, wow, <laughs> yeah. What really belong uh, is beneath the walls of this church. You don't know what people might have done back in the day. And uh, just for that being said, you just got to realize, man, that things happen. Things are covered up. And there's so much mystery and unsolved mystery. You know, just like the government having their own little chamber of secrets. George W. Bush.
George W. Bush Sr. in a cult and took the bones of the late great chief Geronimo and removed them and brought them to some chamber and the great great grandson of Geronimo was trying to get him back but that wasn't happening and all the bones or whatever the fuck their crazy name was I have a video up on that but like I say, what lies beneath all these religious beliefs, Catholics, everything is just, to me, I don't know, man. I shy away from that. I step away. All my life, I've done nothing but follow my own lead. Follow my own beliefs. To see all this come out like this. And then you got that hanging off the side of a building off a church. It looks like poom, pure evil. What do you think? Look at that. Look at that face. Looks like the goblin from Marvel's comics. <laughs> Whatever they were may be doing to try keeping evil away from it. I don't know, man. I think they brought it. Not get rid of it. Let's do that next video. Just something to think about, people. Something to think about. Mystery and history. All oh, what I want to bring forth. Be safe. Take care. Beware. I don't know what the hell's out there like this. Yeah, that's right. You see that? You don't know what's out there. What's hanging around your neighborhood? Ha. Out.